It's your boy Reggie J Sneaks coming at you guys here with a new video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change your oil on your Carson 300. I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step what tools you guys will need, as well as the oil and the oil filter. So if you guys are ready for all this, I need you guys to go ahead and start what you guys are doing. Drop a like on this video as well as a comment. And if you guys are new to the channel, just because of the tire down below, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and make sure you guys have notification bell set to on and make sure you guys have that bell set to off so you guys won't miss when i drop a video and when i'm dropping but with all that being said you guys hopefully this video helped you guys out and if it does let me know down in the comments down below and i'll see you guys once this video is over so in the meantime between time you guys let's gonna get straight into this video all right so now i'm gonna tell you guys exactly all the tools that i use to do my oil change first i use a ratchet i use a breaker bar you want to use the breaker bar just to just in case you have a lug nut to really really tight if not you use the ratchet you should be good to go you, you're going to need three sockets which is a 24 millimeter as well as the 10 millimeter then you will need a 13 millimeter then the only other two things you will need for this project is obviously oil and the oil filter but those two things we will get into later on and the oil change now getting up up under the car you're going to have four 10 millimeters screws holding up a plastic cover the plastic cover has two screws in the front two screws in the back once you take those four screws down, that plastic cover will come down towards you. Once that happens, you just wanna slide that cover out. Then you wanna just break loose your oil pan screw, which is just a 13 millimeter. Then from there, you wanna go ahead and go back up on top of the car and we're gonna go ahead and get into the oil filter. But first, you're gonna take off the oil cap. Now getting back to the oil filter, you're gonna need your 24 millimeter socket. There, you want to either use a breaker bar or your ratchet, depending on how tight your oil filter cap is. Once you loosen it up, you just want to loosen it up until you can hand loosen it the rest of the way. Because once you hand loosen it, you want to just pull the filter out towards you. And then once you pull the filter out towards you, you just want to unsnap it from the cap and then change out the old one with the new one. But one thing you want to make sure you do is take off that oil ring. The oil ring is going to be on top of the cap and the new filter does come with the new oil ring. And the filter cap, the filter that I went with was the M0744 Mopar filter. Now this L filter is just one snap in, snap out, and it comes with one oil ring. Now with the oil ring, you want to make sure you put some old oil on the oil ring before you put them on there just to keep it a little lube. And uh, like I said, this oil filter is just one uh, one snap in, one snap out. You just want to make sure that the oil filter is straightly in there. And once you do that, you just want to put the oil filter straight back in and pretty much tighten it back up with the 24 millimeter. However, I did run into a little problem when I un uh, loosened mines, but I'll tell you guys about that next in the next video. So stay tuned with that. But once you do that, you just want to pretty much leave the oil cap open and go back up under the car. And like I said earlier, you need to just use a 13 millimeter to loosen the oil pan screw when you, before you do your oil filter because you want all that oil to drain down from the oil filter down to the oil pan. Once you do that, you want to pretty much loosen the screw, let all the oil drain out. And before you put your uh, drain screw back in, make sure you lube the screw and then tighten it back up. And then once you get it back up top, you want to just pretty much you get a funnel and you pull your oil back into the top of your engine bay. Now, the oil I went with was 530 uh, Pennzoil Platinum, full synthetic. Um, it's for all gasoline cars. Pretty much want to use up to six quarts on the V6 model. So I pretty much got a five gallon plus the extra. Um, and then once you do that, you just pretty much want to fill it all back up, make sure everything is tightened. Check your dipstick, make sure that you are at the right level. And if you're a little bit lower than what uh, you want, you can add another quart in. And then make sure you run your car and make sure everything is good to go before you put those four millimeter screws back onto the cover. And that was the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. Hopefully this video helped you guys uh, do your oil change or feel more comfortable to do your oil change. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought about everything down in the comments down below. Make sure you guys follow my uh, car Instagram as well as my personal Instagram. But with all that being said, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. So in the meantime, between time, I'm out of here. Thank you.